What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about Volume Customize, which is available for free from the Big Boss repo, and the developer is Coolstar, and what this basically does, it lets you actually change the color of your little HUD, of the volume, I guess it, you can call it a HUD, but as you see here, it is kind of red, let me uh, go ahead and back out and then show you a little different view right here, so each time this shows up, you can actually customize the color of that, and once you do download that, and um, you can simply go into settings, scroll all the way down, and then go to volume customize because you do have a few settings you can change up here. Of course, enabled, you have to have that on in order for this to work. It does have three modes on here. It does have color, gradient, and picture. Notice that it does say experimental because they are still kind of tweaking this up a little bit because you can actually add a picture right there. So that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and do the color one and you can change the opacity right here so meaning it can be a little lighter you can barely kind of see it and if you have it all the way up you can see that clearly right there so of course if it's all the way down you can't even see it at all I'm pressing the button right now the volume button but as you can tell it wouldn't show so let's go back there we go and then now once we did choose the color mode we do have choose color right here we have the options to actually randomize the color so each time you press the volume button and then once it disappears and you press it again it will change up the color as you see there it was orange now it's blue now it's yellow I guess you could say and then orange again but if you select that off you can actually change the color right here to whatever you can do the custom color or you have a choice of colors down here I mean if you want to tweak it up a little bit choose custom and then you can tweak up these little RGB which is pretty awesome it does have the little RGB sliders so you can tweak it up to the way you want it red green and blue if you know your colors combinations and all of that you can tweak it up to your exact color of your liking so right now it's at this greenish kinda of color we can tweak it up a little more slide the green down now it's kinda of getting towards the black so let's go ahead and raise up the red there you go so we have that and if you scroll down more you do have gradient settings and let's go ahead and change the mode right there to gradient and then we scroll back down to gradient settings and then random color 2 because this means of course the bottom you can you see there there's two colors so the bottom well now it's red and red let's choose a different color uh, red and gray or actually it's red and black but you choose a color up top on this choose color area you can randomize the color so the top color will always be random and then here at the bottom it's also going to be random if you keep that on right there so you see red I mean I'm colorblind <laughs> green and blue at the bottom here's like a orange and yellow and then here's a like a purple and gray and then another purple violet whatever you want to call it and then a gray and a green so if you have this on random colors where you see choose color if you turn that off you can actually customize whatever top color you want to change it to because this is a gradient so it's gonna have two different colors so if you choose to random color number two to be off you can actually choose whatever color right here as well just like on the other little setting so you can choose whatever color you want to do let's go ahead and do something that stands out uh, blue let's try blue and then if you see here the bottom color is gonna be blue and then the top color is going to be red because that's what we have it we have it on custom up here on choose color if we randomize the top color we can keep the blue at the bottom so there's that and then let's do it again see as you see here blue is always at the bottom the random color is at the top so you kind of get the idea you also have another setting down here where you can either change it from vertical so instead of it being one color here up top and another color at the bottom you can change it to horizontal which is going to be one color on the left and one color on the right so that's pretty awesome it's pretty neat little tweak and then down here it does say picture settings experimental uh, you can load a picture into the this little directory right here var mobile library and then you do have to change the volume or you have to change the file name to volumebg.png so it can either be a JPEG or a GIF 
file, but you just got to name it volumebg.png and then put it in this directory right there. And they can test that out. I haven't had a chance to test that out, but they did say when the picture loads, this little bottom bar does not show up. So they're still kind of experimenting on that. I'm pretty sure here soon in a couple more updates or probably the next update, they should actually be able to choose a file from your images, from your photos and import it directly on the little volume thing. That would be pretty neat. So that's a little idea I have that I'm pretty sure they've thought about. So simply just going to maybe have a little setting down here. You can click on there and then you can choose a photo from your library and then simply do that instead of having to do all this saving it and importing or putting it in directory and all that good stuff. So I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Otherwise, uh, I think this is a pretty awesome little tweak. It is free. Again, it is from the Big Boss repo. The developer is Cool Start, so go ahead and check this out. Again, it's called Volume Customize. It is free. Check it out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and what you think about this tweak. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that little like in the bottom left. Give it a little thumbs up and show me that you like it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for more tweaks and jailbreaks and all that good stuff. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.